in this problem we are going to take up a question related to a special identity which we learned in the previous session and uh, the question is find the product of these two factors what all x y x minus y plus 2z and x square plus y square plus 4z square plus x y plus 2 y z minus 2 z x okay now the moment we see such kind of uh, problems and uh, you see uh, how do we approach basically the thing is what should be the idea as in what should be the first step so if you see this is a trinomial isn't it so if you see there is there are trinomials involved trinomials inward and in 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 case of trinomials we know uh, we studied trigonomic uh, sorry um, identities related to trinomial square trinomial square if you remember a plus b plus c whole square that was one thing which we learned and then we also talked uh, we had a special identity where we had trinomial and um, this kind of an expression so that special identity was nothing but a plus b plus c times a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca and this identity was given as a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c isn't it this is what we learned in the previous session so the way this has been organized these two factors have been given it indicates that Obviously, first is there is trinomial and there are square terms in the second factor. If you see x square, y square, z square. So, it is inviting us to think in these lines. Okay. So, hence, and you can rule out that it is not a square, square uh, identity, not related to square. Why? Because if you multiply, you will get a cube. x into x square, will you will get a cube. So, hence, it is something, to, something related to cube as well as trinomials. And the only identity which we have learned is this one let us see whether this fits in into this scheme so clearly i can rewrite the given expression as x minus y or you can rather say it as x plus minus y plus 2z right so this becomes my 3 a and b and c so you can think x as a this minus y is b and 2z as c then the second term the other term will be nothing but a square then plus minus y whole square because minus y whole square or plus y square are same thing and 2z do z whole square then in plus plus x times uh, or then you can write rather write this as x minus x times minus y then minus minus y times 2z and minus 2z times x so this is the second factor right these are the terms which is which i can write uh, the given expression into so if you see this clearly indicates this is a this is b this is c and these ones are a square b square c square minus a b minus b c and minus c a right which fits into this identity hence the final result would be nothing but x cube plus minus y whole cube because minus y is playing the role of b and 2z whole cube then minus 3 times a sorry so a is a here is what a is a is x b is minus y and c is 2 z so hence answer would be x cube and then minus y whole cube is nothing but minus y cube plus 8 z cube and then this is nothing but minus and minus becomes plus so 6 x y z y 6 3 into 2 is 6 x y z so this should be the answer or, or this should be the final product when you multiply these things right x cube plus y cube plus 8z cube plus 6xyz